Welcome to Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. Tip number one, getting ready. The first tip calls for getting yourself ready for your journey to self-confidence. You need to scrutinize where you are, think of where you want to go, get yourself in the correct mentality for your journey, and commit yourself to beginning it and sticking with it. Embracing oneself for your journey, do the following things. View what you've already accomplished. Think of your life up to now and list the 10 finest things you've achieved. Maybe you've played a central role in an important team, made the best sales figures in a period, did something that made a central difference in another person's life, or handed over a project that meant a lot for your business. Place these into a nicely arranged document, which you are able to view often. Then spend a couple of minutes weekly enjoying the success you've already had. As well, consider your strong points. Next, take a look at whom and where you are. Looking at your achievements and contemplating your recent life, consider what your friends would think are your strengths and weaknesses. From these, consider the opportunities and threats you might deal with. Make certain that you enjoy a couple of minutes contemplating your strengths. Consider what's significant to you and where you want to go. Next, consider the matters that are truly important to you and what you would like to achieve in your life. Determining and achieving goals is a central part of this, and real self-confidence comes from this. Goal setting is the method you use to set yourself targets and measure your success reaching those targets. You can find free goal plan workbooks and more info here. As you will see when you get to the site, there is nothing, you know, it states that there's nothing to buy here. You'll scroll down and near the bottom you'll see some links where you can uh, get the goals workbook, you can get the worksheet booklet, or you can download the complete package and it's all for free. There's nothing to purchase here. And here are some examples of what you get in the package. You will receive a worksheet uh, for your main goals and this will give you a place to list your main goals and describe what uh, your goals you're reaching for and what they contain. As well, you will receive a worksheet called Goals Brainstorming and it will give you some suggestions, uh, questions to answer to help you get your goals prioritized and to give you a better idea of what your direction is. As well, you will receive a free ebook, a uh, simple system to achieve your goals. This ebook has a lot of good information in it and it is completely free. If you just take a quick glance through the ebook, uh, you will see that it offers lots of different subjects for you to take a look at. It's a 29 page ebook. And like I said, it is completely, completely free from this site. And now having set the major goals in your life, discover the first step in each. Make certain it's a very small step, taking no more than an hour to complete. Next, begin managing your brain. You need to start managing your brain. Learn to defeat the negative self-talk, which can destroy your confidence. Learn how to use imagery and hypnotherapy to create strong mental images of what you'll feel and experience as you accomplish your goals. And then, 
devote yourself to success. The final part is to make a clear promise to yourself that you're utterly committed to your journey and that you'll do all in your power to reach it. Tip number two, getting started. This is where you begin, ever so slowly, going towards your goal. By doing the correct things and beginning with small, easy advances, you'll put yourself on the way to success and build the self-confidence that accompanies this. You need to establish the knowledge you require to succeed. Considering your goals, distinguish the skills you'll need to accomplish them. Then consider how you can develop these skills confidently and well. Don't just live with a sketchy, just good enough answer. Seek a solution, a program, or a course that fully equips you to accomplish what you want to achieve and ideally gives you tools you can be proud of. Center on the fundamentals. Once you're moving along, don't try to do anything cunning or complicated and don't grasp for perfection. Just relish doing simple things successfully and well. You need to set minor goals and achieve them. Beginning with the very small goals you named in Tip 1, get in the habit of specifying them, achieving them, and celebrating that accomplishment. Don't make goals especially challenging at this stage. Just get into the habit of accomplishing them and celebrating them, and bit by bit, begin accumulating the successes. Keep on managing your brain. Stay on top of that positive thinking. Continue celebrating and enjoy success and keep those mental images solid. You can also use a process like a vision board to make the visualization even stronger. You can find free videos on creating a vision board here. When you get to the site at eHow, you'll see the videos for making a vision board video series and there's lots of videos here to give you instructions on just exactly how to make a vision board. When you scroll through the topics, you'll see every aspect of making a vision board is covered. Um, we'll look at vision board pictures in this particular case. You'll see that this video shows you how to use background pictures um, and it will also explain to you what type of pictures to use for your particular vision and give you a little bit more in-depth information on making your vision board. As well, you can find free online vision boards here. When you get to Animoto, you have the choice of signing up for a free or paid account. We will sign up for the free account for this example. You go through the sign up process, you will input your email, you'll choose a password, you'll put in a little information about yourself, and you'll click the sign up button. Once you've signed up for an Animoto account, you have the ability to make vision board videos uh, just like the one that I will place here and that you can take a look at. <music> When you log into your Animoto account, you will have the chance to create an Animoto short or a full length. The Animoto short is the free video and the full length is for a paid account. The next screen you will go to is you will choose your images for your video. You can upload them from your computer, select from their collection, or get them from another site. For this example, we'll select from their collection. Then you'll see that you have several collections to choose from. If you scroll down, you'll see that um, you can choose from announcements, birthday, travel, whatever you choose. For this example, we will choose travel. The next screen, you will be shown lots of different images that Animoto will provide you with. You can go through and pick on the images that you choose to use in your video. The directions will let you know that you can select more than one image by holding down the control or command key and then picking out your images. 
The next screen will show you what images you have chosen to be in your video and you can rotate them, spotlight them, you can rearrange their order, whatever you would like to do. When you've chosen the way you want your images to appear, you'll pick the Done button. The next screen you will go to is you'll pick out your music for your video. We have several different categories to choose from. For this example, we will be picking Top 40. The next screen will give you all the tracks that you are able to choose from. You can have the choices of picking play to hear it. You can get info on the track or pick select and it will take you to the next screen and that's the music you will be using for your video. You will be shown the soundtrack information that will be with your video. You can pick Animoto Short for the free video. You can pick which speed you would like your video to be shown at. Click the continue button. Next, you will be taken to the screen that will let you input your title and description for your video and the producer name. Then you will create your video. You will be taken to a screen that lets you know that Animoto is now producing your video. It will go through processing, analyzing, and rendering. When your video is done rendering, you will get both an email and the video will pop up on your screen and you will get something like this. As well, you can find a really good hypnotherapy series called Concrete Confidence, Mental Strength and Attitude Alignment Series here. As well, learn to address failure. Accept that errors happen when you're trying something new. In fact, if you get into the habit of addressing mistakes as learning experiences, you can begin to see them in a favorable light. After all, there's a lot to be said for the saying, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And finally, kick it into gear. By this point, you'll feel your self-confidence progressing. You'll have completed some of the steps you began in tip two, and you'll have a tidy sum of success to celebrate. Now's the time to begin extending yourself. Make the goals a little larger and the challenges a little harder. Step up the size of your dedication and broaden the skills you've established into new but closely related areas. Take out a pencil and take this self-confidence quiz. How good are you feeling right now? Are you bright and upbeat or are you struggling? Try our quick quiz and check out whether your personal confidence levels might be affecting your performance. Listen to each of the following statements and ask yourself if they are true for you. Score your answers as follows. One point means almost never. Two, sometimes. Three, often. Four, almost always. I believe in myself. I know what I want. I find it easy to go for my goals. I am a person who can make things happen. It's easy for me to express my feelings. I can accept my mistakes and move on. I am relaxed in social situations. My happiness does not depend on the behavior of others. I don't act like a victim. I can accept that I can't please everyone. Now total up your score. If you scored 10 through 19, you're not at your best right now. It can be difficult for you to get the most from life because indecisiveness and lack of focus is holding you back. Consider each of these statements again and consider your answers when your self-confidence is challenged most. 
How could you bring more positive and assertive energy into your life? What one thing could you do that would give you more self-confidence? And then do it. If you scored 20 through 29, your confidence often presents, but there are still some situations where you find it difficult to be sure of yourself. You know when your self-doubts start to sneak in and you would like to be able to defeat them. Sometimes you're worried about what others are thinking and this stops you saying what is on your mind. Consider your answers again. What are those self-limiting beliefs that are holding you back? Why do you believe less than the best about yourself? Let your competent self shine through. If you scored 30 through 49, although you are self-confident, you know that the way to stay like this depends upon maintaining a positive outlook and trusting yourself and your judgments. You know how to say no without feeling guilty, and you have developed some strategies that allow you to keep upbeat even when the going gets rough. Your high score reflects your levels of self-confidence and others treat you with respect that you rightly deserve. Finally, as long as you continue stretching yourself enough, but not too much, you'll find your self-confidence establishing a pace. What's more, you'll have earned your self-confidence as you'll have put in the hard work essential to be successful. Welcome to three tips for building self-confidence. Self-confidence is highly crucial in almost every facet of our lives, yet so many individuals struggle to find it. Unhappily, this can be a vicious cycle. Individuals who lack self-confidence may find it hard to become successful. After all, most individuals are reluctant to back an undertaking that's being pitched by somebody who was uneasy, fumbling, and overly apologetic. On the other hand, you may be persuaded by somebody who spoke distinctly, who held his or her head high, who answered questions assuredly, and who quickly admitted when he or she didn't know something. Self-confident individuals prompt confidence in others, their audience, their peers, their bosses, their clients, and their friends. Gaining the confidence of other people is among the key ways in which self-confident individual discovers success. The good news is that self-confidence truly can be learned and built upon, and whether you're working on your own self-confidence or expanding the confidence of people around you, it's well worth the endeavor. All other things being equal, self-confidence is frequently the single ingredient that distinguishes a successful person from somebody less successful. What we will cover in this series, getting ready, goal setting and where to get free goal plan workbooks and info, getting started, the knowledge you need to succeed and where to find free videos on creating a vision board, as well as free online vision boards and where to find a hypnotherapy series. And finally, kick it into gear, make the goals a bit bigger and a self-confidence quiz. Now let's take a quick look at this. How do others see you? Have a look at this quick comparison. Self-confident. Doing what you consider to be right, even if other people mock or criticize you for it. Low self-confidence. Regulating your behavior based on what others think. Self-confident. Being willing to take chances and go the extra mile to accomplish better things. Low self-confidence. Staying in your comfort zone, dreading your failure, and so avoid taking chances. Self-confident. Accepting your mistakes and vowing to learn from them. Low self-confidence. 
working hard to cover mistakes, and praying that you can fix the trouble before anyone knows. Self-confident, waiting for others to compliment you on your achievements. Low self-confidence, proclaiming your own merits as often as possible to as many as possible. Self-confident, accepting compliments gracefully. Thank you, I really worked hard on that. I'm happy you recognize my work. Low self-confidence, brushing off compliments. Oh, that was nothing really, anybody could have done it. Now that you have a basic idea on how this all works, let's get started.